Ever wondered how different types of resistors work? Well, let's dive into the world of resistors. Imagine them as traffic controllers for electricity within an electronic circuit. They manage the flow of electricity, ensuring it doesn't race through, potentially causing damage. This is done by resisting or limiting the amount of current that can pass through. So whether it's your smartphone, your TV, or your gaming console, resistors are the unsung heroes of our electronic devices quietly doing their job. First up, we have fixed resistors. These are the rock stars of the resistor world. Why? Because they provide a consistent and reliable resistance value. They don't change, they don't adjust, they just do their job and they do it well. You see, fixed resistors are like the steady beat of a drum in a rock band, providing a constant rhythm that the other components of the circuit can dance to. They maintain their resistance value throughout their lifetime, giving you the reliability and predictability you need in your electronic designs. Now let's dive a little deeper. How do fixed resistors actually work? Well, when electrical current enters a fixed resistor, it encounters resistance. This resistance is like a roadblock for the electricity, slowing down its flow. The more resistance a fixed resistor has, the less electricity it allows through. And here's the magic. This resistance value is determined during the manufacturing process, and it's based on the material used and the physical dimensions of the resistor. Materials with high resistivity, like carbon or metal alloys, are often used in fixed resistors. Fixed resistors come in a variety of shapes and sizes, from tiny surface mount resistors that you'd need a microscope to see, to big chunky power resistors that can handle a lot of heat. But no matter their size or shape, all fixed resistors have one thing in common. Their resistance value remains constant, unaffected by changes in temperature, light, or any other environmental factors. So, whether you're building a simple LED circuit or designing a complex electronic system, you can count on fixed resistors to provide a steady and consistent resistance. They're the unsung heroes of the electronic world, maintaining order and balance in the circuits they inhabit, and that's the beauty of fixed resistors. They're a testament to the principle of simplicity, a reminder that sometimes the most effective solutions are also the most straightforward. So here's to the fixed resistors doing their job without any fuss. They might not be flashy or glamorous, but they're reliable, dependable, and they get the job done. Fixed resistors doing their job without any fuss. Next, let's dive into the world of variable resistors. Imagine a world where the flow of electricity can be adjusted according to our needs. This is the realm of variable resistors. At the heart of it, variable resistors, also known as potentiometers or rheostats, are devices that allow us to modify the current flow in a circuit. They are the dynamic, adjustable cousins of the fixed resistors we discussed earlier. So, how do variable resistors work? Picture a long strip of resistive material like carbon. At one end of this strip, we have a fixed contact. Along the length of the strip, we can slide a movable contact. The resistance between the fixed and movable contact changes as we slide the movable contact along the strip. The farther the movable contact is from the fixed contact, the greater the resistance. This design makes variable resistors incredibly versatile. They can be found in a multitude of applications ranging from the simple to the complex. Think about the volume control knob on your stereo system or the brightness control on your laptop. These are examples of potentiometers in action. In these cases, the variable resistor is used to adjust the level of an output, be it sound or light. Rheostats, on the other hand, are more commonly found in industrial applications. They are used to control the electrical resistance in a circuit without interrupting the flow of electricity. You can find them in light dimmers, electric ovens, and even some types of electric motors. So what makes variable resistors so special? It's their flexibility. They offer us an easy and efficient way to control the current in a circuit, adjusting it to meet our specific needs. Whether you're dialing down the volume on your stereo, dimming the lights for a cozy movie night, or managing the temperature in an industrial furnace, you have variable resistors to thank. Variable resistors offering flexibility in controlling current. Ever heard of a resistor that changes with temperature? Meet the thermistor. Thermistors are a fascinating type of resistor. They're not your average run-of-the-mill resistors. No, these little devices have a unique ability. Their resistance changes based on temperature. You could think of them as the chameleons of the resistor world, always adapting to their environment. 
The word thermistor is a portmanteau of thermal and resistor, and that's exactly what they are. They resist current, but that resistance is influenced by temperature. As the temperature rises, some thermistors decrease their resistance, letting more current pass through. These are known as negative temperature coefficient, or NTC, thermistors. But it's not all about the heat. There are also positive temperature coefficient, or PTC, thermistors, which do the exact opposite. As the temperature goes up, their resistance increases, allowing less current to pass through. Now, you might be wondering, where would we use these temperature-sensitive resistors? Well, thermistors are everywhere. They're in your car, monitoring engine temperatures. They're in your home, keeping your thermostat accurate. They're even in your smartphone, protecting the battery from overheating. So next time you enjoy a perfectly toasted slice of bread, remember the humble thermistor. It's the unsung hero, constantly adjusting, constantly adapting to keep things running smoothly. Thermistors helping us keep things cool or hot. Now let's shine some light on light-dependent resistors. Also known as photoresistors, light-dependent resistors, or LDRs, are a fascinating type of resistor. They're different from the others we've discussed because their resistance changes based on the amount of light they receive. Fascinating, isn't it? Imagine a world where your electronics could sense their surroundings. That's the world these little components help create. In the dark, an LDR has a high resistance, limiting the flow of current. But when light floods in, the resistance drops, allowing more current to pass through. How does this happen, you might wonder? Well, it's all down to the magic of semiconductors. LDRs are made from high-resistance semiconductor material. When photons, those are particles of light, hit the material, they give some of their energy to the electrons. This extra energy helps the electrons jump from one band to another, enabling them to carry a current. The more light, the more photons, and thus the more current-carrying electrons. And that's why the resistance drops when an LDR is exposed to light. Now, where might you encounter an LDR in your daily life? They're often found in devices that need to respond to light conditions. Think of automatic street lights that switch on as dusk falls, or security lights that flicker to life when they detect motion in the darkness. They're also used in photography to help cameras adjust to different lighting conditions. But it's not just about lights and cameras. LDRs are also used in alarm clocks that dim their displays at night, in mobile phones to adjust screen brightness, and even in some toys to make them light sensitive. These humble components truly bring our electronics to life, allowing them to interact with their environment in a more intuitive and intelligent way. The potential applications for LDRs are vast and continue to grow as technology advances, so the next time you see a streetlight flicker on as the sun sets, remember the tiny LDR working behind the scenes making our world a little brighter, a little smarter. Light-dependent resistors enabling our electronics to see the light. So we've explored the world of resistors today. We've delved into the intricacies of fixed resistors, those steadfast components that maintain a constant resistance no matter what. We've discovered the flexibility of variable resistors with their ability to adjust and adapt, controlling the current in a way that's just right for the situation. From volume knobs to light dimmers, their versatility is truly impressive. We felt the heat with thermistors, the thermal warriors that react to temperature changes and play a crucial role in everything from your car's engine to your home's heating system. We've been enlightened by light-dependent resistors, or LDRs, that respond to light intensity, making your automatic night lamps and light-sensitive alarms possible. In essence, resistors in their many forms are the silent heroes of our electronic devices, maintaining order and balance in the flow of current. Remember, from fixed to variable thermistors to LDRs, resistors are at the heart of our electronic world, quietly controlling the flow of current.